Let's take a quick look at the different data services available on Azure. I can't do it justice in two minutes, but we'll give it a go and talk through the different services. The first one is more relational databases. So I'm talking really here about Azure SQL. And Azure SQL is a platform as a service. You can buy it at a database level, so an individual database level. You can buy it at an instance level, which you can run multiple databases on. Or you can take it as a serverless function, whereby you get charged per transaction. Within that SQL database family, you've also got the ability to run MariaDB, Postgres, and MySQL. The other side of a database services is the NoSQL, the non-relational databases, and Cosmos DB is a really rapidly growing service. So Cosmos DB works at a global scale. One of the attractions of Cosmos DB, apart from the pricing, is the fact that you can run it multi-master. What that means is that if you've got data that needs to write into two different geographical regions, you can bring data and then that the service will bring that all together and handle the complexity of doing that. As well as databases, Microsoft have got a great portfolio of services around data warehousing and analytics. The big product within that category is Synapse, which is Microsoft's data warehouse product. Now, companies use the data warehouse service really to bring data in from different data stores and different you know, databases that could be on-prem or within Azure as an aggregation point to centralize data. Then you've got the ability to prep and train that data into something that's usable from an analytics perspective. And within Azure, you've got access to um, uh, SSAS, you've got reporting services, and you've also got lots of Power BI and analytics capabilities. That then moves us into that machine learning territory and within, within the services within Azure, that then brings us into real machine learning territory. Microsoft have got a great set of products around machine learning. You've got machine learning workspace where you can really use a very intuitive UI to build and train algorithms to then get predictive insights into your data. Then the last category is really that whole movement of data Data Factory really helps customers do that transactional moving of ETL processes, help replicate some of the SSIS capabilities, and really gives you that end-to-end -end knitting of moving data from one place to the other. So it's a wide range of services available to you, everything from the dumb, cheap storage, to databases, data analytics, warehousing, data movement. So it's a really rich portfolio of services that can drive some really good insights from your business.